Alarm U or L on the Alpha I amplifier indicates a loss of communication. If the CNC is on when a servo amplifier has either a U or L alarm, a system alarm will occur. A system alarm, or black screen of death, indicates something critical has happened to the control system requiring it to immediately shut down. You won't be able to operate the control or the machine while the system alarm is active. There is a fiber optic cable extending from the CNC to the motor amplifiers. The cable daisy chains from amplifier to amplifier and is called the FANUC Serial Servo Bus, or FSSB for short. The FSSB is used to command the amplifier to spin the motor and is how the motor feedback signals return to the CNC. Beginning with the B models of the 30 family and the 0i model F, the fiber optic goes to both spindle and servo amplifiers. If your control system is older, it only goes to the servo amps. The system alarms that are related to FSSB problems are numbered 114, through 160. The system alarm that is shown here is alarm 122, the second line of the text, and indicates that the FSSB was disconnected somehow. In the alarm text, the system will tell you where it thinks the problem happened, and it's honestly really good at figuring out where a problem is. If the word main is used, that means the CNC itself. If amp and a number is displayed, it is referring to either a spindle or servo amplifier and telling you how far away from the C and C it is. In the example shown here, the alarm says the problem is between amp 1 and amp 2. Physically, the first and second amplifiers that appear on the FSSB chain when you start at the CNC. If SDU and a number is displayed, it's referring to a separate detector unit. The SDU is a box that converts the signals from a third-party feedback device, like Heidenhain or Sony, to signals that the FANUC FSSB understands. SDU1 would be the first one on the FSSB chain. It's important to keep in mind that the first thing connected to the FSSB might be an amplifier and the second an SDU. Even though the SDU is the second thing on the FSSB, it's still the first SDU connected, so it will be called SDU1. Line and a number indicates which FSSB cable has the trouble. For most systems, it will just be line 1, as 6 axes is the bare minimum that a single cable can handle even when the servo system parameters are set to extreme accuracy and up to 28 axes on a single line when the servo parameters are set up for standard accuracy. A system alarm related to FSSB could be related to several alarms on the amplifiers, but our focus is on the U or L. So the only way you're going to know what you have on the amps is to take a look at them. This means you'll need to access the electronics cabinet with power on, so make sure you can do so safely. Just because the amplifier has this alarm on it doesn't mean it is bad. In the picture shown here, we have a power supply module on the left with a dash, meaning it is in the not ready state, a servo amplifier in the middle with an L displayed, and another servo amp on the right showing a U. Toward the bottom of the right-hand amplifier, you can see a connector labeled COP. 10B with what looks like two wires going to the middle unit. That's the fiber optic. The COP10A connector on the right hand unit has a plug in it to keep dust out. The unit on the right is at the end of the FSSB. The unit in the middle has cabling plugged into both the COP10B and COP10A connectors. You can't tell from this picture, but the middle unit's COP10B cable is going to the CNC. Now everything I just described is the reverse order of how the FSSB is connected. Starting at a COP10A connector at the CNC, a fiber optic cable goes to an AMPS COP10B connector, 
and then daisy chains from COP10A to the next COP10B, and on and on until we run out of amplifiers. If you imagine that the CNC is at the very top of this chain and it feeds downward, then the letters L and U start to make sense. L indicates that there is no communication coming from lower in the chain, and U indicates there is no communication coming from upward in the chain. In the example shown here, we have two amplifiers pointing the finger of blame at each other. The most likely culprit with this situation is that something is wrong with the short fiber optic cable going between the two amplifiers. For this example, the unit on the left is the one closest to the CNC. The leftmost unit says it is getting no communication from lower on the chain to the right. The rightmost unit says it is getting no communication from up the chain to the left. And the amplifier in the middle is just sitting there taking a break, wondering why its neighbors are complaining about not talking. The units with the alarms aren't bad in this case. It's actually the unit in the middle that doesn't recognize it should have an alarm that is bad. Once you've identified where the trouble is physically, try reseating the connectors on the fiber optic cable. The FSSB cable is transmitting light. While not a scientific test, touch one end of the cable to the business end of a flashlight and compare the light level coming out of both conductors. Is one dimmer than another? Check a second cable to compare the two. You can also swap the fiber with another drive unit to see if the problem moves. It's possible that the logic board that the fiber optic is plugging into is bad. If you have multiple servo or spindle amplifiers, you can probably swap the logic board with another amp of the same part number. Just be aware that you stand a chance of losing home position if you unplug feedback cables from a servo amplifier. Those are the cables plugged into the JF connectors. If you do decide to swap logic boards, make sure you check that the part numbers on the logic boards themselves are the same. If the very first amplifier on the FSSB is displaying a U or every drive has a dash and the system alarm identified the problem as being between main and amp 1, then you may have a bad board on the CNC. As always, we're only a phone call away when you need us. Call 888-326 8287, press 2 for CNC, and then press 2 for technical support. To reach the part sales department, press 2 for CNC, then 1, and 1 again. Whoever you talk to will be happy to help.